Howdy YouTube, today we're looking at one of my favourite Star Wars figures of all time, the Saga Legends Collection Republic Commando Scorch. Anyone who is a big Star Wars fan will know of the Star Wars Republic Commando shooter game. Really great game actually, I remember playing it as a kid, absolutely loved it. Was really excited when they released a series of figures from that game. And uh, what I mean by that is we pretty much got two. Uh, um, we got Scorch, and I think they later released uh, the boss as well. But uh, it wasn't until a few years after the game that we got a battle pack that actually came with uh, Delta Squad. I believe it was Delta Squad. I could be wrong there. Uh, that set is extremely rare and hard to find and also very expensive on eBay. So uh, I was very surprised the other day at my local figure shop to find this guy, who I picked up for a really cheap price, actually, around 20 bucks, which uh, is pretty good considering how rare he is, and uh, he comes with a protective case and all that sort of stuff. Very excited to get him opened up and out of packaging. Hopefully you guys can see I'll bring it forward. A nice shot there uh, of Republic Commando Scorch. Looking pretty cool. And taking a look on the back, other figures in the set. We've got, uh, of note, Darth Vader, that looks pretty cool, C-3PO, uh, Poggle the Lesser, that's not bad, big role in the Clone Wars, Jango Fett from that wave wasn't that great. We're sort of in the transition period with a lot of these figures where they're similar to how they are now, actually, even though they're about 10 years old, uh, and what I mean by that is they're starting to add more articulation with these sort of figures, but they're still not quite there yet, so I don't know if this guy will have any leg articulation or if he'll have ball joints or swivels or not, but we'll get him opened up and find out. The read-up at the top of the packaging, nice shot there of the video game cover. The read-up says, Battle of Geonosis. When the battle begins, Clone Trooper Scorch is ordered to engage the Separatist droid army. Scorch's delta number is 6-2, but he is well known for his humorous mishaps. And uh, the background on him says that he singed his eyebrows off, which is why he's called Scorch. So it's not something cool like, you know, he has a flamethrower or anything. But anyway, uh, although he is a competent soldier and an excellent explosive technician, there we go. Scorch earned his nickname after an audience ac uh, ordinance accident that left him without eyebrows. So let's get Scorch opened up. Okay, and here we have Scorch opened up and out of packaging and a seriously cool looking figure. I've always loved the designs of the clone commandos. I'll show you guys his backpack very quickly just before I peg that in. Kind of cool, I'm not sure what purpose it serves, but at least visually it looks very nice. Also the gun that he comes with as well, I love that it's multicolored, which you'll see when I bring in some of the other clone commanders I have. Uh, it's kind of rare, so that's really nice. Now I'll bring it forward so you guys can see some great detail on Scorch. I love the, the mud and everything that he's got on there, all the dirt from Geonosis. It looks like weapons canisters on the side. I think the orange, white, and black. And I say orange, but it is like a yellowy um, orange, I suppose. It's a really nice color scheme. It definitely works well with this guy. Lots of nice detail indeed. Now, in terms of articulation, he's got a ball-jointed head, swivel arms, ball-jointed elbows, which is good, ball-jointed waist, Swivel in the legs and then no articulation in the knees. So as I was saying before, uh, it is slightly limited just to the, the period of time that this guy came out. But having said that, he's still pretty solid. Like still a really cool looking figure. And definitely one that if you're a big Star Wars fan and a Clone Trooper fan, you'll definitely want to try and pick this guy up. Because he does look really sick. So just for comparison, I've got Scorch here with some of the other Republic Commando figures that we've gotten. You can see he fits in really well. He is surprisingly shorter than the boss that came out as part of the Clone Wars line. Uh, you can see obviously a little bit of a difference with the helmet visor and, and that more cartoony look. But having said that, an awesome looking figure. He fits in well. I'm really happy I was able to add him to my collection. If you can find him, 100% I think he's well worth picking up. Certainly one of the nicer Star Wars figures that have been released. Certainly one of the cooler Star Wars characters as well. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this review on the Star Wars Expanded Universe Saga Collection Republic Commando Scorch.